Hey there, welcome to GrowMed. Join with me to ace the FMGE with high yield study techniques to mnemonics and practice questions. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for regular study tips. In this video, we will discuss about high yield topic for the FMGE from the microbiology that is the mycology. The fungal diseases, its appearance, its stain, all these are very important topics and frequently questions are asked on this. So let's look at all those points one by one. So in this video, we will be discussing the images, the diseases and other high yield points. So first, let's look at some dimorphic fungi. These fungi are called as dimorphic because they exist in two forms, the mould form and the yeast form. So at 25 degrees Celsius, they will be present as a mould and at 37 degrees Celsius, these will be present as yeast. So this is an image of blastomycosis, which is also called as North American disease. So the classical feature of this is it looks like a 8 on the microscopic examination and it has a broad base body and this disorder usually happens in HIV positive. So the next image, it is an image of the paracochidomycosis and it causes South American disease. So this is an image of the yeast form of the paracochidomycosis and this appearance is called as a Mickey Mouse appearance or a Marinier wheel appearance. The next image is of the histoplasma and it causes Ohio or Darling's disease. So the features of this histoplasma or the histoplasmosis are similar to, to the TB. So in this also there is pulmonary involvement and there is formation of a granuloma. As you can see in this image there is a granuloma formation. Then moving on to the next image. This is the image of the Penicillium marnefi and it causes penicillinosis. So in this image, you can appreciate that this organism, it looks like a brush or a broom. So it is called as a brush or a broom appearance. So another important point to remember from this penicillinium is that its natural reservoir is the bamboo threads. Then let's look at the next image. This image is a very important image and this is asked in integration with the, the dermatology and it is also a repeat question. So this is an image of the sporothrix and it causes sporotrichosis also called as Rose Gardner's disease. So this image is of a mould and you can see here that the mould is arranged in a flower like sporulation. This is called as Rosette of Conidia and in the yeast form it is present in a cigar shape. As you can look in this image that there is involvement of the skin and it is spread along the lymphatics. So in this disease there is lymphocutaneous involvement. Now let's look at another image and it is the cochitis. So this cochitis causes cochidomycosis and uh, desert rheumatism or valley fever. So in the mould form it is present as anthrospores as you can see here that it is like this a track like this and there are spores present. Okay so here also you can appreciate it these are called as the anthrospores. And in the yeast form, it is present as a spirule with endospore. So this is the spirule and the endospores present within it. So this was a list of the important dimorphic fungi which you must read for the FMGE. If you cannot remember all these diseases at once, then there is a mnemonic to remember this. That is the body, the heat, probably change in shape so by the body heat heat means uh, the two temperatures two different temperatures at which they change their shape and by this mnemonic you can also even remember the names that is the blastomycosis histoplasma paracochidomycosis and the penicillinium the cochidomycosis and the sporothrix okay so let's move further by discussing some other important images so in this image you can see that there are various ball-like structures in which there is a black uh, spot present. So this one is due to the GMS staining which is particularly used for the fungus and this appearance is called as a crushed ping pong ball appearance. The green color it is due to the trophocyte and the black color it is the cyst and they are colored black because of the presence of glycogen. Then next 
image is very important image and a must do topic so this is also a repeat topic and is frequently asked in the fmge so this image is of a chromoblastomycosis the chromo means it has color that is the brown color as you can see here and the blastomycosis means it is the fungi this is also called as verrucous dermatitis because it causes skin warts and this is most commonly seen in forest workers. The classical finding seen with this chromoblastomycosis is this copper penny bodies which are also called as the sclerotic bodies. Then moving on let's look at some important images from the dermatophytes. So there are three types of the dermatophytes which are by the name of the trichophyton, then epidermophyton and microsporum. So the first image you can see that the shape looks like a pencil so it is called as a pencil shape and this trichophyton it involves skin, hair and nail all the three structures are involved in this trichophyton. Then the next image of the epidermophyton uh, in this image you can see that uh, this phyton it looks like a club or a boot shape and this in involves skin and nail and the third image is of the microsporum and uh, this microsporum looks like a spindle shape or the fusiform shape and it spreads to the skin and the hair so questions are also asked on the microconidia so in trichophyton there are my microconidia in a numerous quantity so numerous microconidia are present as you can see here this 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 all okay then in the epidermophyton there are absent microconidia so there are no microconidia present as you cannot find any microconidia in this image also then in the microsporum there are a very few microconidia this this here okay so they are present but they are in a few quantity so sometimes there is confusion to remember which dermatophyton affects which so there is a simple mnemonic or a simple trick to remember this that is the tri means three all the three it will be involving the skin the hair and the nail and the epidermo epi means epidermo means this is structure which is involving the skin and the nail so by the epidermophyton you can remember that it will be affecting the skin and the nail and by the exclusion then microsporum is left and the skin and hair are left so microsporum will be involving skin and hair so this is my small trick to remember this so these were some important points from the dermatophytes this topic is also very important and a repeat topic these questions are asked in relation with the dermatology also. Now let's look at some other important fungi. So the candida. The candida there are various examples like the candida albicans, candida aureus, candida cruzii. So there's no need of remembering all the names but the two important things which you must remember is that it causes Raynaud Brody phenomenon that is the germ tube formation. So this is a asked question in the FMGE, the Reynold Browdy phenomenon and another very important question related to this is it shows budding and pseudo hyphae and also candidiasis causes various diseases like the vaginal candidiasis then or esophageal candidiasis, oral thrush, meningitis. So these were some important points related to the candida. Now moving on, this is the image of the mucormycosis. So most of them would be aware of this mucormycosis as it was very famous during the COVID-19. So this mucormycosis usually affects the immunocompromised patients like the patient who are diabetic or who are on steroid therapy for a long time or patient with HIV. So clinical question can be asked describing these features and giving the image or describing the features like the aseptic and the perpendicular branching. And this mucormycosis, it causes blackish discharge and usually affects the face area like the nose and the ear. So let's look at the image. In this image, you can see that this, there is a separate hyphae. That means uh, there are no lines present like this. No lines present in between. And you can also see that the branching, it is perpendicular, that is the 90 degrees. So here also you can see that the branching, it is perpendicular 90 degrees. So by looking at these two points you will be able to differentiate it as mucormycosis then moving on aspergillus so aspergillus also how do you differentiate it from the mucormycosis so in this image you can see that there are septae present it is a dichromatous branching and you can see that the branching the angle between the branching is the 45 degree 
so by looking at this angle and the septa you will be easily able to differentiate it from the mucor mycosis so now let's look at some important examples of the aspergillus which are asked in the fmge so the first image it is of the aspergillus flavus so these above images these are the images microscopic view and these images are on the culture then the aspergillus flavus when cultured on the plate gives yellow green color and one important disease which it causes is the hepatocellular carcinoma because it produces aflatoxin then next image is of the aspergillus fumigates and on the culture plate it gives a smoky green color so as you can see here that this can be a green color and this ash like thing when you see something burning or when you see some flames so this appearance is seen so by that you can re easily remember that fumigates flames like smoky green okay then it causes two important diseases like the allergic bronchopulmonary aspergilloma and it also causes aspergilloma which is the fungal balls then the next image it is the image of the aspergillus niger as you can see here that the fungus is black in color niger means black so on the culture plate also it gives black color and it causes black crusts mainly in the nose in the ear so this was a short quick video on the important fungal organisms which you must read for the fmge i have tried to cover all the important points in a single video so this video will be more than enough for the fmge so i have covered the images the important topics and the dis diseases which are caused by this thank you for watching this video guys keep studying you will pass this exam for sure all the best for your exam thank you bye bye